Hi and welcome to JG's Cookbook. Well, Christmas is around the corner and we're all getting excited and very, very happy. Now, there are a lot of things to do at Christmas, especially eating and baking and uh, going around, a lot of, lot of stuff and everyone's busy. The main thing is, well, baking stuff, uh, eating cake and uh, Christmas cakes, Christmas pies, biscuits, all sorts of good things. And uh, people are all uh, very happy and, you know, in the merry mood. Now, uh, cr Christmas holidays are going on. That is, the children are, well, having their Christmas vacations and they're all at home and it's very, very fun for everyone. Uh, now, this time I thought of, uh, well, giving you all some important tips or valuable, uh, ad well, valuable advice and um, good things to tell you. That is, usually, um, nowadays, what we usually do is children or family, everyone together, they're, well, now it's all the nuclear family, so big, big families don't get together much anymore. It's just, you know, uh, small, uh, the small units. And what they do is, uh, you, know, you know, they just uh, have a small dinner or Christmas party or something. And, um, you know, they have their own uh, sort of enjoyment. They eat themselves and usually they don't share much or I don't know whether it's the parents, probably it's the parents. The parents do not instill uh, the, the need for sharing and giving in children, which is uh, a must. What we have to uh, teach our children is to, uh, you know, love others, share and give and not be selfish. So Christmas is a season for that. And instead of, you know, making things uh, and eating it on your own, it's a good idea if you try to share it with others. Um, and, uh, you know, that gives you a more, well, very, very sort of happy, uh, valuable sort of, um, you know, mood. You, you get into a very, very happy and fulfilling sort of, uh, mood and that is a very good gesture. Now uh, I thought of showing you how to make uh, small Christmas presents. Like I always do, um, every Christmas I show small small things to give off or to give away and uh, this time I thought of showing you how to make you know, very very simple Christmas truffles. Even children can make them and actually uh, I urge the mothers or the parents to actually bring the children in to the kitchen, make these truffles, chocolate truffles, which are very, very e easy, um, and um, pack them up in small, small uh, packs or small, small goodie bags. And, uh, and uh, actually make the children, um, encourage the children to give it to their friends, their cousins, um, whoever uh, they see and whoever they want to give. Now, that is a very, if you do that, it's a very, very good thing uh, that you're actually teaching. You, it's a very good lesson you're teaching your children because children will grow up and uh, they will start sharing on their own and they will teach their children. And so we can actually, um, you know, make this generation into an unselfish generation rather than a selfish generation. And... Uh, you know, instill good habits and good uh, things in uh, this generation. So I urge all the parents and, um, you know, all the teachers and everything to, you know, teach the children, give them lessons and um, make them understand that sharing, loving, and giving is a very good thing and uh, it will actually give you more satisfaction uh, than receiving. In fact, I love giving more than receiving. So. Let's get on uh, how to make or get on with the show. Now I'll show you exactly how to make this very simple Christmas tr uh, truffles and also how to pack them, okay? And uh, we're gonna have a fun time. So how do we make these chocolate truffles? Or oh, Christmas chocolate truffles. Now, see how beautiful they are? You can make it uh, into presents like these, okay? And uh, you know, gift them. It's very, very, well, it's very economical, it's very easy, and it's very personal. Something you made on your own, and uh, people will really enjoy it. That's the, um, the beauty of this. So, uh, well, it is very easy to uh, buy chocolates from the supermarket, 
and uh, you know pack it up and uh, give it off. But you know anyone can do that. I mean, there's there's nothing very very hard about it. This is uh, something very personal, and people will really um, appreciate your effort because this is made by you and it's packed by you. So you know it has a special sentimental feeling. Now uh, enough of blah blahing, and uh, let's get down to business. Now how we start off? Now these are I have shown uh, well earlier uh, how to make chocolate truffles, different type of truffles. Truffles are mainly when you know round round uh, chocolate. Uh, um, sweets, you know, like these. I don't know whether you can see them. Uh, uh, these are coconut covered. You know, you can co you can actually cover them with everything, anything. Um, now, just now being Christmas, I thought of showing you how to make uh, well uh, Christmas uh, truffles. So. What we need for this is, you know, there is no cooking. Practically, there is no cooking in this. Uh, just a few roasting and everything. Now, uh, what we need to do is, this is one cup of dates, okay? Now, these dates are very soft and very good quality dates. They're very, very, um, you know, they're very soft. It's not, not, that, not that hard and fibrous type. It's very soft, and you need that type of uh, dates. That is, uh, this is one cup of dates, which goes in here. Okay, and this is de-seeded. Make sure it's de-seeded and it's not, uh, you don't have any seeds because we don't want seeded uh, truffles. Now, the next thing uh, what we need is we need to roast four tablespoons of almonds and four tablespoons of cashew nuts. Now, um, actually, you can uh, do it with four tablespoons of uh, pistachios, but um, I ran out of pistachios, so uh, I opted for um, cashews which are equally good. Now what we have to do is we have to roast them and for that I need a roasting tin or yes and I'm um, going to lightly roast this. Now what I have to do here is roast four tablespoons of dry roast, no oil, nothing. Dry roast. 4 tablespoons of cashew nuts, 4 tablespoons of almond. Just dry roast it so that we can actually uh, grind it into a powder. Uh, let it uh, roast well and then we'll uh, grind it. Now um, into uh, the dates, okay, we actually need half a cup of, uh, well this is not tutti frutti, it's actually a uh, glass aged cherries or glazed cherries whatever you want to say um, which has been chopped very very fine okay this is you can put like half to quarter cup quarter to half cup okay and um, you can avoid this if you don't want to but being Christmas I thought of um, you know adding cherries it looks lovely red is the dominant predominant color of Christmas Mm, lovely. We'll mix this. To this, we need one. We add one teaspoon of allspice or cinnamon. In fact, this is cinnamon. We keep these. Give this a roast. I'm not actually touching the pan, so don't worry. I'm just moving the nuts around so that. It toasts well. Now, in fact, I'm going to process this uh, with this. First, I have to toast these nuts and uh, grind them into a fine, fine powder. Okay, so this is dry roasted. You don't have to, you know, uh, roast it a lot. Just a light, light gold, not too much. Okay, now what we have to do is, now, why we roast this is mainly it's easier to grind um, toasted nuts than you know uh, raw nuts without um, toasting because it just becomes uh, you know a big mess. This uh, grinds really fast. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grind this into a powder. So you need a grinder actually, and whoops.
Okay, now this gives the base for the actual uh, Christmas truffles. So, what we need to do here is, now this is going to make a noise, forgive me. Round about done. Ouch, this is hot. Now, obviously, you have to cool the, uh, the actual nuts and then do it. I don't have time uh, to cool. So therefore, um, I'll have to, you know, do it hot. And it, it's not a very good idea because it's bad for the blender or the grinder. And uh, what we now do is we have to tip all this into the processor so that, you know, it makes things. Otherwise, you can actually use it with, uh, you know, just mix it alone but um, it makes things easy or actually mixes everything uniformly so we just put everything together uh, the the dates are very sticky and it's a good thing because you know you actually need it to be sticky so we're going to actually uh, put in all this powder. Mm, nice smell. The toasted nuts. Now, while you do this, actually ask, you know, mm, call your children in the kitchen and, you know, they'll really enjoy it. This part is not very easy for them. You do this part. And then you, when you actually make the truffles, okay, call them and they'll help you and they can actually make these small presents and uh, they will be encouraged to make it and give it to their friends uh, and loved ones, neighbors, cousins, whoever. So that's out a bit it. And keep this aside and give this one whir. So it has to come together like a like a dough, like a chapati dough. Okay. So this is perfect. And we'll tip this in. Good thing about this truffle is that um, there is no added sugar. Okay, it's all natural sugar. Uh, dates has its natural sugar. Nuts. There is nothing bad in this. It's all very, very healthy. So you actually can say this is a very healthy uh, Christmas truffle. Okay. Now uh, the filling is ready. Now what we need is some oil to, you know, actually um, wipe it on our hands so that it won't stick. It is a sticky mixture. We need some oil, any flavorless oil. Okay. Uh, we need to actually uh, coat this in uh, chocolate. So. You've got some, I've got some dark chocolate out here. Um, all you have to do, I, ha, I, I actually um, bashed it up into smithereens. And um, all I have to do is uh, melt it, okay? Because we're going to make the truffles and then roll them in chocolate. And then we're going to um, refrigerate it, it um, refrigerate them so that they, you know, well, they set. So um, I'm going to take it to the microwave oven and uh, let it actually melt. You can do it on top of uh, the stove but um, I found this much easier so everyone's got a microwave in their house nowadays so I thought of um, actually using the microwave. Now it's all, it all depends upon you. Now the, first, the very important thing you have to be very careful is that you have to make sure that it does not seize, okay? The chocolate just has to melt. Uh, don't uh, heat it more than uh, a limit because it tends to split. And what we say in culinary terms is seizing, seizing of the chocolate. Let the chocolate melt. Keep an eye on the chocolate. Um, when you melt chocolate, always stay with it. Don't go here and there because if it goes beyond a limit, then you know it just splits and then it becomes a big mess. Now from the microwave I took 
the melted chocolate. This is melted really well. This is to coat the truffles. So this is dark chocolate. You can use, for children, you can use milk chocolate. Any, any type of uh, chocolate. You can even use uh, white chocolate, which is really good, very good for Christmas. But this is uh, dark chocolate and um, very good. Now I have to take my ring out because I need to do some rolling. So wash your hands really well. And uh, put some oil because we're going to do some uh, hand work. Otherwise this is going to stick to us. Now take small, small rounds, okay, like truffles, and um, make small bowls. Very, very simple, very simple, see? Make small, it's very, very easy, nothing to worry about because, you know, it's the correct consistency. Um, it's sticky, yet not too sticky. Um, perfect, don't make it too big because, you know, we're going to give it as presents, so, we need to give as many. So try to make small, small truffles and put them in, you know, a, a sort of ceramic plate so it doesn't stick again there. It's very rich, but it has, just imagine, it has no fat. Um, it has absolutely uh, no, you know, there's no butter, uh, no sugar, nothing. It's just raw, uh, ingredients and it's got dates and nuts which is very very good and uh, if you really want to give your children healthy treats I think this is very 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 good and usually all festivals they usually they indulge in all kind of oh, a lot of butter and sugar and all sorts of things but yes it is okay once in a while but try to um, you know, try to compensate them with healthy ing ingredients when you can. So my truffles are all done. That is not chocolate coated, but otherwise. Um, and then what I have to do is mm, dip them in melted chocolate. Mm, lovely. And, you know, set them on a plate. And let them cool off. Okay, now what we do is once this is dripped, now make sure it's dripped well. Otherwise, what is what uh, what's going to happen is that this is the truffle is going to be in a big puddle of chocolate. So use a fork. See, it's already creating a small puddle. This is just melted chocolate, nothing else. I haven't added anything else. You don't need to add anything else. Now, um, if you want to double the recipe, what you have to do is, you know, double, yeah, well, if you want to double the recipe, you have to double the ingredients. That is, um, for one cup of dates, you add two cups of dates. Four tablespoons of um, cashew nuts, you add Four ta eight tablespoons of almonds, uh, four tablespoons of cashews or pistachio. You add eight tablespoons of cashews or uh, pistachios, and uh, you know a half a cup instead of quarter cup or half a cup of glazed cherries. You can even uh, you know skip. The cherries if you don't want the cherries. Now these uh, truffles are half set, don't make them full set because we need to roll them in just a little, uh, once they get a little, uh, once they stick a little, uh, what we do is take it out and roll it in. Now if it's coconut, desiccated coconut, just roll the, the rolls in the rolls in. If you don't like coconut, obviously don't. Um, if you, well, 
if you like pistachio uh, you know you can actually roll these in pistachio powder you can also roll them in chocolate strands or chocolate sprinkles or any type of white sprinkles colored sprinkles anything you can do it all depends upon how you really want it they all taste very good so now uh, i have actually rolled them the truffles in um desiccated coconut and chocolate uh, sprinkles whatever you want i'll show you exactly how to very easy try to get these type of bags okay um i got these from archies and well you know try to get it's a good thing if you can get uh, transparent without any absolutely no designs or you can you know small merry christmas or something but i couldn't get them so i had to do this now this kind of long covers what i did was just you know cut them short first what i did was i put these truffles in okay and then for good luck some glazed cherries okay then just tie them up in a knot very simple cut the excess of oops cut the excess of the paper okay and there you've got your present and what you can actually do is you can buy these small you know kind of bows present bows and you can stick them on here and your present and there you're done so this christmas don't be selfish be kind make these truffles put them in very pretty um sort of uh, you know present goodie bags and give them off so don't forget to be kind loving gentle sharing and giving